I did something that I shouldn't to auto lately and I was able to resolve it just fine, but it made me realize this is something I tell other people not to do and why. And so I want to share about the situation and how I resolved it. So what happened was I started a coaching, started providing coaching before receiving investment. So I was working with a company that had two, two co-founders with a startup and I had enrollment calls with both and they went really, really well. And I'm really excited and they're really excited and they both verbally agree. And I send the agreement and the invoice and I talk to the first person who I'm going to be starting the coaching with. And he says, yep, this looks good. Signs everything. No problems. And says, normally we would, I would let my co-founder do the, uh, make the investment and, but he's out today. He'll be back uh, tomorrow. Do is this urgent? Do you want me to do it right now? Or, uh, can, can we do, put it through our normal process? And I said, oh, that's totally fine. There's, there's no issues for me. Put it through your normal process. I just wanted to make sure that you got the invoice, which they did. And so we went ahead and started the coaching the following day, the, or maybe I think it was over the weekend. The following day, the co-founder came back from his uh, vacation or travel or wherever he was and sent me an email saying, Hey, could we uh, break this up into uh, multiple investments over time? It's just a cash flow issue. Let me know what your flexibility is. And I had to stop and realize that, all right, I did something that I tell people not to do. And this is exactly why. I now am, have started coaching and have the relationship going, but have not yet received investment. So this, the reason this happened is because I'm really excited about this project and I wanted, I was excited to get started with it. And I know them both through a professional networking organization. So I'm not really concerned that it's not going to work out or that they're not going to make the investment or anything like that. So I feel pretty strongly uh, about the, the bonds in this situation that I'm not worried about that. But now I need to renegotiate when I've already started the coaching. Whoops. And he's structuring it as, oh, it's just a flexibility thing. No worries. So in my response to him, this is by email. What I said was, it's, it's totally fine if you want to do that. However, we did have a verbal and a written agreement that we, that I put together that your partner already agreed to. And we already started the coaching. I would strongly prefer that we abide by that agreement. The reason is that an upfront investment helps you be more committed and get better results and be more likely to achieve the outcomes that we've set together. I set those outcomes the way that I did based on an upfront investment because they're pretty challenging and pretty not, it's going to take a lot of commitment and engagement and enthusiasm and energy to be able to do this. And it's not as easy to get that when you have, uh, when you're making the investment over time. So I would love to go ahead with what we orig originally agreed to. If you would like to split this up, that's totally fine, but it, the investment will be a little bit more. So we have three options at this point. We can do either the original upfront at this number. I can do split it up into two payments uh, a month apart and add 10%, or we can split it into three and we'll add 20%. Which one works best for you? Live well, Sam. And I sent it off. And at this point, I have to be willing to lose the investment and willing to lose the client. If I'm not, if I'm needy, if I'm like, oh God, you know, like I want to do whatever, whatever they want, or I, I want to make sure I don't lose them. I'm sunk. Not only have I lost the investment that I, or, or time of investment that I originally agreed to and expected, I have now also lost part of the coaching relationship and the power that I offer them in the coaching relationship because I'm demonstrating for them uh, how I want them to respond to their clients. So I responded this way partly because I want to make sure that I role model well for them. Here is what you should do when your clients do the same thing to you because clients do all kinds of crazy stuff. So do we coaches. And I, I waited for, I don't know, a couple of days or something. And he said back, yep, that's fine. We'll go ahead with the original. I'll get it to you, get it to you by the end of the week. No problem. So it turned out fine. And I then I had another decision point because do I want to role model further why I responded the way that I did, or do I want to just keep it clear and, and keep it about what's happening right now? I decided to go with the latter. So I just said, wicked, awesome. Thanks. And waited until I got the investment and then moved ahead. Uh, I didn't stop the coaching. I didn't ask to do anything differently. I just, okay. 
Um, I just have to be willing to let it go at this point and set really clear boundaries because that's exactly what I want them to do with their clients. So that's how I handled the situation and it turned out great. Then afterwards, I haven't done this yet, but next, next time when, when I'm going to call with them or maybe in a couple of months or something when I'm going to call with them, I'm going to reference this situation and say, remember how this happened? Um, because I can just about guarantee one of their clients is going to say the same thing to them and they're not going to be sure what to do. And I'll be able to reference, here's what I did. Here's how I stood in my power and offered this to you to make sure that you're going to succeed. Here's, do exactly what I did with your client. And that whether they want to do that or not, it's a great starting point for the conversation to see if they can move ahead with this client, even though they're suddenly renegotiating after the fact. Hopefully that's helpful, helpful for you to see what me do, what I shouldn't to audit and how I fixed it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and bye.